team for you guys, the score probably didn't reflect how close it was out there. What do you take out of that performance? Take plenty out of a performance. You're always learning, and um, we're disappointed with the result, um, and we're disappointed with the way we started the game. I thought defensively we we're probably too passive, um, but I'm very proud of the boys' effort. They just kept turning up for each other, and they were always going to do that. But there were some great efforts at the back end of the game when we had no field position all night. Full credit to the Kiwis; they played really, really well. They kicked well and. We brought the ball off our trial line most of the night, so it was a tough, tough night. You, you guys, and not much time for you guys to prepare, but can you take something out of this, this week in general, looking ahead to the World Cup? We'll take heaps out of this week. Um, we had nine guys make their debut tonight, so that's a huge effort and exciting times um, for Tonga. And if you look at our um, average age of the backs, they were just under 21. So. They're all young. They're going to learn plenty from this game and this experience. And you know, moving forward, it's exciting time for Tonga in the World Cup and and for years to come. <laughs> oh, if I was going to pick out two uh, young players, I thought Christian and Tolu Kola at the back were absolutely outstanding. I just thought they attacked the game all night. Um, it was a tough night for a back three um, in these conditions and when Jerome Hughes is putting it in the corner all night long and I just thought they were brave, I thought they went after everything and them two have got yeah, a real bright future. Any particular injury concerns coming out No, I think we're pretty good. Um, I haven't seen the boys just yet, they're still on the field so uh, I think Junior, uh, Amon, has got a HIA but from all reports he responded really quickly and um, he's OK. What did you make of, of the halves? It's obviously been an area where Tonga probably haven't had the numbers in the past. What did you make of the halves? Yeah, I thought Junior did really, really well. I thought, you know, he's a, he's a natural six. He's a ball running 5-8. It's not his job at the Dragons to control a team or to call plays or to be the main kicker and to stand up and um, do what he did tonight. I'm really proud of him. Um, Katoni, uh, we probably didn't get involved as much as he would have liked to and uh, we didn't get much good ball. You know, when we went down there, we looked like we could trouble the Kiwis, but we didn't just get enough opportunities down that part of the field. And what did you put the slow start down to? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a million dollar question. We'll, we'll have to talk about that and learn from it. And the next time we play a game together, we need to be starting fast. Did you think after that first kind of 10 minutes, you were at the level you needed to be? Quite yeah, yeah I, I thought so. I thought the boys competed hard all night. And, um, you know, as I said, it's, it's going to be hard when you come off your trolling all night. So we need to turn the momentum in our favour. And that's with a bit more um, line speed and win a few more tackles. and. Hopefully we get a few more shots at their trial on. Christian, for both of you, young Dorothy, what did you make of the Kiwis' performance? And so did they play the way that you played? Yeah, well, us, we always play the Kiwis like um, we expected that from them. Um, you know, they, they usually got you know good spine and, of course, they were going to shift the ball around us. Um, but yeah, we like um, what Coach said here. We just didn't start fast. We didn't um, go with them. Um, we got you know best ball runners in the game, but um, I think our defense let us down a bit. Um, yeah, and they found opportunities in the middle, on the edges. But um, there's a lot to take out of the game. Uh, but the effort was there from the boys. Everyone was trying to save tries and that, which was good. Um, but again, you know, there's a lot to learn, and we're just building for the World Cup. After such a long time for these these fans and getting to experience something like this and give them a reason to, to come together like this, I guess. Yeah, it means a lot for us, um, especially coming back to Auckland. Um, and the last time I was here was when we had that good win against Australia. Um, and everyone knows that our fans will turn up. Um, you know, especially in this weather as well. Um, so yeah, it's good to be back in Auckland, get a game, and see all the um, all our fans come out of their flags and singing hymns and supporting us. So um, you know, the least we could do is play some good footy and you know represent them really well. Is it each time, especially each time, does it get you know, does it still amaze you when you walk out of the building and see it? Yeah, yeah. Like 
we notice when we get off the plane, um, you know, there's fans in that already at the airport waiting for us. Um, you know, we have families going live, especially in Oahu. That's where most of the parade happens. Um, I think they were parading yesterday when it was raining. Um, but yeah, like we we do this because of them. Um, you know, we try to represent our family and our the jersey and all our people around the world. Um, and hopefully, we can make them proud. Um, so yeah. A lot of young boys coming up, and all we're doing is just building for the next generation. Dean, I know you'll need to talk to Christian, but did you think any of the young guys really put their hand up for a World Cup spot? Yeah, I think tonight was one to try to win a test match. You always go out there to try to win, but also with an eye on the World Cup, and I'm sure um, some of those boys booked a seat on the plane. Um, it's going to be a strong squad and still got a couple of players over in England playing really well that didn't make the trip out here, and maybe a couple of players playing state of origin that might be um, eligible. So uh, we've got to get through the rest of the NRL season and then get to the end of that and work out who's the best options for us moving forward.